Welcome to our YouTube channel dedicated to exploring the latest insights and opportunities in the world of finance and investments with a special focus on currency revaluation, gold and silver investments, cryptocurrency and make money online opportunities and more. If you're interested in staying up to date on the latest developments in currency revaluation, particularly the Iraq dinar and other currencies, best to subscribe to this channel. Please note that the content on this YouTube channel is for informational purposes only and should not be considered financial advice. We are not licensed financial advisors, and the opinions expressed on this channel are based on our own research and personal experience. We strongly recommend that you do your own research and consult with a licensed financial advisor. Also, just before we go any further, this channel has a weekly giveaway of 100 Dogecoin. To enter, all you have to do is be subscribed to this channel like this video and watch this video until the end because if you don't you will be automatically disqualified from the giveaway we will be sharing the random hashtag keyword daily somewhere in the video and then comment hashtag the keyword with no spaces in between in the comment section good luck now let's proceed with the latest direct in our news and until today please take these information with a grain of salt and please make sure to do your own due diligence from News Hound, Intel Guru Mountain Goat, article, Government Advisor explains the possibility of using the dinar instead of the dollar in oil sales. This is a very good article in that it talks about the risks associated with pegging the dinar to oil prices. Instead, they plan to repeg to a basket of international currencies from the top developed nations. This much less risky and is much more stable. Besides, this is the Dr. Shabibi, an IMF plan for Iraq. Article, quote, Will it be a fixed exchange system supported by foreign reserves, or will it be a flexible exchange system in which the petrodinar changes with the change in oil prices? I love this. It reinforces again they are not going to peg the dinar to the price of oil. Nonetheless, this tells us they know they must do something and do it soon. From Intel Guru Mark Z via PDK, Iraq's Prime Minister Mohammed Shia al Sudani chaired a meeting of the High Committee for Tax Reform. So when they reviewed, that they found there was a 22% growth in tax revenues. This means the economic reforms they are working on are working. This one is really big news. From Newshound Guru Militia Man, article, Al Mashhadani announces the approval of the majority of deputies to his nomination for the post of Speaker of Parliament. Now, it is waiting for a vote. Let's see how long that takes. I do believe the optics of having all three presidents in place when they fully open the doors to the world with their real effective exchange rate will or would be well accepted globally. Investors would likely see it as security and stability. From Intel Guru Frank 26 Iraq Boots on the Ground Report from Firefly, a lack in the United States of America means very little for us in the sense of a rate change. It is more for the banks to try to get their situation straightened out. And no more sanctions. From Frank, I agree to a certain point, but I also disagree to another point. In my opinion, this meeting in New York may not release a new exchange rate, but it is definitely part of the monetary reform. This meeting will accomplish steps that are necessary to release the new exchange rate. Your banks have to be stable and secure and free from the corruption of parliament and they must be ready for the new exchange rate that's what they're doing from newshound guru samson two conditions to achieve it al sudani's advisor rules up removing three zeros from the currency from intel guru wolverine via judy byington i'm absolutely excited i wanted you to know it's coming it's absolutely real from Newshound Guru Militia Man, is there a rate sensitivity they're hiding at the moment? Is that possible? Of course it is. Why haven't they gone on the forks? From Newshound Guru Claire, two conditions to achieve it. Al Sudani's advisor rules up removing three zeros from the currency. Quote, Sally ruled out the government removing three zeros from the Iraqi currency at present, noting that achieving this requires two basic conditions. Explained that the three zeros added price and monetary inflation to the currency, starting with the Iran-Iraq war generated inflation in the value of the currency. He pointed out that when prices rise, we need larger denominations of money to maintain the equivalence between price and money. 
For example, due to price inflation, 25 Iraqi dinars have become 25,000 dinars. Sale pointed out the importance of reducing the calculations that have reached trillions in recent years. Article continues, adding that the process of raising three zeros does not only mean the value of the currency, but also the calculations and statistics. Removing three zeros from the currency globally requires two conditions, political stability and economic stability. When these two factors are available, countries resort to removing zeros from their currency, adding that the value is fixed and not affected. Rather, it is a relative change. The project to remove three zeros we worked on between 2011 and 2012, but there was a delay in the matter because it requires a change in the accounts of the Republic of Iraq in statistics and requires cooperation between monetary policy and all government policies. From Intel Guru Mark Z via PDK, I have been told a three-day weekend is easier to execute. In an ideal world, they would flip the rates on a Saturday night or Sunday morning, and this would give them more time to prepare banking. It would just be easier to do it on a three-day weekend for the biggest economies in the world. At least that is how it was described to me. The anticipation for this weekend is at a feverish pitch right now. We will see what happens. We should know by midday on Sunday. Before ending with few more updates, the hashtag keyword for the 100 Dogecoin giveaway is cooperation. You can be the lucky winner if you like, subscribe, and watch the main content of this video. This will be for this coming Sunday's giveaway, and the winner will be announced in one of the Sunday's videos so you do not want to miss it. From Newshound Guru in Aust, if the dinar exchange rate is ever to rise in value, it will be based on the economic success and growth of Iraq's own economy. There are no shortcuts. From Intel Guru Frank 26, I pray that this dream will come true for the both of us. It is very close. There's no doubt about it. All the indications are pointing that it's very close. I just hope we get some good news when Alak returns from New York. And finally, the last update is from Newshound Guru Militia Man. Please pay attention. They're bringing value to their currency. It's really coming together quite quickly. Moreover, we posted a breaking analysis video the other day. We dove into a crucial collaboration between Iraq and the World Bank aimed at enhancing the financial and business sectors. This partnership could be pivotal for Iraq's economic growth and the potential revaluation or reinstatement of the Iraqi dinar. We broke down what this means for Iraq and explained why it's a significant step toward a more stable and prosperous economy. Please go ahead and check it out by clicking on the link on the top right of this video, as you don't want to miss this. Lastly, we will continue to post videos about the recent events and articles supporting the changes taking place in Iraq so you don't want to miss them. Also don't forget, please drop a comment below with hashtag and the keyword and let us know what you think. If you like this content and like to support this channel, please don't forget to like, subscribe, hit that bell notification so you get notified when new videos are uploaded. See you on the next video. Bye.